Hi, in this lecture I want to give you a quick demonstration of how you can use Thony IDE and MicroPython to do something simple with the Raspberry Pi Pickle, which is, in this case, to make the onboard LED blink. At the moment I've got my ESP32 connected, so let's unconnect it and instead connect the Raspberry Pi Pico back into the Thony IDE under Tools Options change the interpreter to the Raspberry Pi Pico and make sure that the port is properly selected and hit OK so now we've switched the target device to the Raspberry Pi Pico which is running MicroPython this is actually how it comes from the factory it didn't have to do anything in terms of installing a MicroPython interpreter firmware on it just plug and play you can find information about the Raspberry Pi Pico on its webpage you can see here raspberrypi.org documentation Pico getting started and if you scroll down on the board specifications you'll see the pin map out the Raspberry Pi Pico is well equipped with all sorts of um, GPIO capabilities and um, communications capabilities. One interesting technology that comes with it is a programmable input output PIO state machines, which basically allow you to write simple programs that execute on specific GPIOs. And because they run directly on the silicon of the GPIO and they're not occupying any MCU, cycles they're very very fast this is a fairly advanced topic though but i thought i should mention because it, it's really a feature that stands out when compared to other microcontroller units anyway in this uh, simple example i can show you how to toggle the state of the built-in led just as you can see in the pin map out it is connected to gp25 using thony ide all right, so the first thing that you need to do is to import the pin module from the machine library. And the machine library, as you learn about this in more detail a bit later, it is a library that is available for all microcontroller units that support MicroPython, and it contains functions that are specifically created for the microcontroller that you're targeting. So in this case, the machine library contains functions that specifically apply to the Raspberry Pi Pico. Later on, we'll be using a different version of the machine library that specifically applies to the capabilities of the ESP32 and so on. And that's because each hardware target is different in terms of its hardware capabilities. And those differences are reflected in the individual machine libraries. So now that I've got the pin module, I'll be able to use the capabilities the pin module provides me to do things such as um, toggle the state of the LED, which is, as I said, connected to GP25. So first I'm going to create the LED object, and I'm going to use the pin constructor for that. We are targeting GP25, and this is going to be an output. So that's how you set this up in Raspberry Pi Pico. And now that we've got this object, we can toggle it on or off. Oops, I should say toggle, not toggle like that. So that is on, that's off. Or another way that you can do this if you want to be more specific about the value that you're writing to the GP25 or to the LED is to use the value method and in this case the LED is turned off now so I'm going to turn it on by passing value 1 like that. You can also check the state of the LED by just calling the value but without a parameter you can see now that it is on. If I toggle it off and check the value again you'll see that it's off now, it's zero. It's just a quick demonstration since the focus of this course is on the ESP32. But if you're curious about learning more about the Raspberry Pi Pico, then have a look at the documentation here. It's a full book with a lot of content, including a little link example that I've just shown you and lots of other uh, bits of information that you'll find interesting. 
All right. So then the next thing that I want to do in the next lecture is to show you how to do something similar with the BBC micro. But the purpose of this, of course, is to show you how the versatile micro Python is allows you to jump from one kind of hardware to another with uh, some small, relatively small modifications to your micro Python program. So let's go ahead next and have a look at the BBC micro bit. Thank you.